Hey guys, another video for you. Uh, today we're going to do some uh, basics on wiping down a car, getting it ready to paint, uh, tacking it off, some tips and tricks going through. Uh, for those who haven't seen my video yesterday, this is the same truck, Range Rover. So I painted the roof and I painted the front bumper just to make it a little easier. It's so hot in here, it's about 95 and 60 years old. I want to make it as easy as possible. So I draped some plastic over the whole truck and sprayed the roof and the front bumper. So these are all masked off. I'm going to be doing the rest of it. But I wanted to go back to the video I did yesterday and show you guys something. This is the green tape I was talking about that I outlined last. And if you notice, this is one piece. So you go back here. And there's my tail, so I know when it's done, what I do is go ahead and pull this off, one piece, continuous. Try to avoid doing two or more pieces because it's a pain in the butt. You got one piece to pull all the way, then you don't have to worry about the clear coat bridging on the edge of the tape. So I did that to the windshield and also my tip about the sunroof. The sunroof was uh, cracked open. So anyway, go back and see my other video that I did yesterday, check that out. So today we're doing the basics on getting this ready to paint. So right here I have the SX320. You can use any free paint cleaner you want to. This is SX440. This is actually a wax and grease remover. This is what most painters know of, wax and grease remover. This is actually a free paint cleaner. So you don't use a wax and grease remover right before you paint. You want to use a pre-paint cleaner. It dries quick. There shouldn't be any wax or grease on here at this point. So I keep a bottle of it and a ketchup bottle. So basically you want to grab a couple rags, put a glove on, and I'll show you why I wear one glove. So first things first, you want to blow off the whole vehicle. I'm just going to do this one area here to show you. This is a pencil blower. It's adjustable. You don't need much there. Never take two fittings and put them together and use the full pressure. You don't need that. So, first thing you do is throw off the whole vehicle. So not much pressure, maybe 50, 60 pounds, something like that. So next step, what you want to do is take your pre-paint cleaner, wet it down, and just wipe on, wipe it down real good. This is a good time to check for chips, dings, anything you might have missed, deep scratches, because you can see the shiny area, or see it as, you know, it's shiny, so you can see what's going on there. Take a dry one, wipe it off, do this to the whole vehicle. So once you get that done, what I do is take the dry wipe ball or rag or whatever you use. Make sure if you use a rag, it's lint free. So these are wipe all through 400. So basically go around the whole vehicle, blow it off, and wipe it at the same time. Okay, so if you do the whole vehicle, Wipe it down. Again, you want to feel for any dings or anything like that. So, next step you do, take a tack rag. I use the surgical blues. Use any tack rag you want to. What you want to do is open this up all the way. Back in the day, these actually used to be quite a bit bigger. But just like everything else. Open it up, fold it nice and neat so it's nice and loose, so it's not real tight. It picks up lint, dirt, even better. So now I go around, lay off the vehicle with my pack rack. Just like this, the whole vehicle. Okay, then what I do, the final step, is go around with the same tack rag. You can fold it to a cleaner side if you want to. 
Tack it off. This is why I wear one glove. Is They say don't do this, but I recommend it. So that way you can see how good of a job you did. So if I did the hood, of course, let's do this real quick. I didn't blow it or wipe it or anything like that. What I do, make sure your hands are clean and just lightly rub it. You can feel any, if you have grit on here, you need to at least do a couple steps back and redo that process. You obviously don't want to feel any grit on here. This feels good even, I've already blown this off to be honest with you. So it already feels good. I just wanted to, I thought it'd be a cool video to show you guys on the process that I use to get it to this stage right before paint. So it's like a five step process, it takes 20 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere around there, but it makes a cleaner paint job, less buffing. It just makes it nice and neat and give you some confidence that you have a clean vehicle to paint over. I rent my booth out and I've had painters in here that looks like they actually threw sand on it. I don't know how they get much, that much dirt. Before you even pull it in the booth, you wanna make sure you blow this off real good. Get all the cracks, open the hood, blow out any uh, areas there. And on the roof, some of these vehicles have a uh, molding and they will hold dirt. People don't clean those out or blow them out, which you know makes sense, who's gonna do that? And they hold a lot of dirt. I had one vehicle in here, there's no way I could get it, get it out. So what I did in that case is I sprayed the base coat before I clear coated, I usually don't do this, I tacked it off. And then on my first coat of clear, I usually don't do this too. I just sprayed a real light tack coat, hoping the overspray went inside the molding and would hold that dirt down. It did for the most part, but I still got some chunks out, but there's nothing I could do. So, you know, uh, I did the best I could. Now, on this previous video, I had this all masked off and I had the plastic, so all I sprayed was the roof and, of course, the front bumper. So what I did on this vehicle, since the post pillars weren't painted, I took this plastic and just folded it up, made a nice, neat little uh, square up there, and it covered the roof. So now, today, all I have is the bottom of the vehicle, no front bumper to contend with, so it makes the job a lot easier. So if it's hot up north or it's hot, anywhere uh, that's a good idea you know do the roof for, first I, I tend to do big trucks and big SUVs I don't know why I guess it just happens anyway another tip for you filter balls good idea use this at least on your clear coat uh, they screw on real easy they're just a little insurance to eliminate anything that comes through the lines moisture dust anything like that so hopefully this video helps you Make sure you check out the other video. There's good tips on there about the door handles, the, the, the sunroof I was talking about. And uh, also check out the mirrors, how I have these angled. Uh, I mentioned these mirrors were gonna be a pain. And I got it adjusted best I can so I can spray back here. And then I'll get the front right here. So I gotta spray all the areas on it. So I got it at the perfect angle. It will make it a little harder down here. But you got to be careful when you're swinging by here. You want to make sure that your gun doesn't slap against that mirror because forget it, it's, it's going to run if it does. So you got to be real careful with that. So thumbs up for this video. Any questions, any comments, please put those below. I'll get to you as soon as possible. And I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe too. Thank you.